Hello and welcome to the 72nd tutorial on the C++ programming series. And in this part we're going to be looking at how to write to a file. In the previous part we looked at how to open a file and now I'm going to show you how to write to a file. And if the file doesn't exist, it creates the file when it writes to it. So if we try and write so a number, let's say 45, to a file called hello.txt. If the file hello.txt doesn't exist, what you will do, the application that is, it will create a file called hello.txt, then it will write the data to it. And so what we're going to do is just open up our project. And before we do any coding, like we did in the previous part, we're going to show you where this data is stored in Xcode. If you want to know where it's stored in something like Visual Studio or whatever you're using, you can either Google it, you'll be able to get an answer by that, or just message us. And for Xcode, you go to, well, Xcode Preferences, Locations, then you go to Derive Data Folder, which you can go by clicking this arrow. Then in this folder, you want to find your application, which is C++ for us. And then in here, it's got to build products, debug, and in here is the text file. These are the text files from the previous tutorial. I can actually, I will just remove these. We'll keep this open so you can actually see it being created. So what you want to do first off is we are just going to remove this. We're going to do std our stream file. Now we'll do text file.txt. So it's going to write to a file called text file.txt. And it's moaning about something. I yes. Need to include a header. Mm -hmm. There we go. We just needed the F stream header. And what we can do, check if this file successfully opens. If file dot is open, then what we can do is file less than less than, which basically means whatever is to the right of this will be the contents of the file which is textfile.txt and we're just going to put we have added a file backslash n so it creates a new line as well then we're going to close the file we can just do a simple else statement just printing out that there have been some sort of error unable to open file Generally this error should occur, but just in case you might want to handle it. So if we just open up our folder again, it's created it, and this is because we ran it before. So if we just delete this now, and I run this application, we have build succeeded. So the debug console didn't pop up, and nothing was printed in there except for the default stuff and that is good, that means the file was open successfully. So if we go here, we've got a file called textfile.txt. If we open it, it says we have added a file. And as you can see, it's added a new line as well, based on this new line character right here. That is it for writing to a file. Obviously, you can combine this with opening a file, so you can write to a file, make some scores, some high scores, and then you can read it back in, and then if the user beat their score, write it again, and so forth. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at commenting. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.